Okay, we're going to do this question. It is, uh, you have to find out net income for tax purposes while using the formula. So first we have, uh, how we calculate it is, um, first we do all the incomes. So first thing is employment income. After that we have to do business income. Then we have to do property income. Then we have to do any other sources of income. That goes in 3A. Then we have uh, B, which is 3B. Over there we have to put any capital gains and then we have to minus uh, any um, capital losses we have. Then we have 3C. There we are going to do any other deductions that we have. And finally we have 3D where we do our losses. Okay, so for this one, first of all we have to do the employment income. So employment income is uh, 30,000, check it already, that's 3A, 30,000. And next thing, we have to look if there is any other income. So we have uh, business income from Enterprise A. which is 10,000 next we have is property income and property income is 5,000 Then we have to see if there is any other sources of income. See if have other sources of income pension. And pension is 12,000. We total it. Fifty-seven thousand. Okay, if there are any other sources of income, nope. So then we're gonna go to three B, which is um, any capital gain. So over here we have taxable capital gain, home sale of security. gain is this is taxable capital gain if it's a regular capital gain we have to do the half taxable is only 50 percent this is the total we can just put it in the yellow okay now we have to minus the capital losses so we have capital loss of 20,000 So this is allowable capital loss. So let me just take this from here. Take this. Let me put it over here. Fifteen thousand, and this is twenty thousand. And it is twenty thousand. So taxable capital gain was fifteen thousand, but allowable capital loss is twenty thousand. This amount over here cannot be negative. So if we total this, it is fifteen thousand minus the loss is twenty thousand. It's negative fifteen thousand. We cannot put a negative amount here, so it is going to go to zero. Which means after to our total over here comes to. It's fifty thousand, fifty seven thousand. After that, we are going to go other deductions. Do we have any other deductions? Uh, I know there was alimony payments. Yeah, that source. Suppose other deductions. This 
come it will, it will come in three C and other dimensions and it is three thousand and this is minus so we're gonna take it out so we got it here it is fifty seven thousand minus three thousand so fifty four thousand see if there is any other losses we had a business investment loss of uh, enterprise B for three thousand and we have a allowable business investment loss of two thousand so we're gonna add this here business loss this is B it is three thousand and then we have allowable business investment loss of two thousand two thousand so this total is 5,000 and we are going to take that out from here and this is going to be 4,000 minus 5,000 is 49,000 so our final total Just the amounts which I summed up, <coughs> and this is net income for tax purposes. Okay, and that's it. Thank you.